Namaste, good morning. Namaste, Shamla Didi. Namaste, everyone. Welcome to the morning session. Ji, namaste, Sunil Ji. Sabhi ko namaste. Good morning and welcome. Today we have sharing by PB Nirmala Didi. I'll briefly introduce you and then you can place your sharing based on this indicator, Didi. Okay, okay, bye. So, uh, PB Nirmala Devi Ji. She is a professor in the Department of Mathematics, uh, Kalpataru Institute of Technology, Siptur, Karnataka State. She attended this UHP introductory workshop from 10 to 14th of October, 2022. And she has been attending this morning session from 8th of November, 2022. And she is attending all these weekly uh, follow-up meetings. Thereafter, she completed the UHP 2 also and she is volunteering in the uh, registration team as well as the Canada translation work. So with this uh, brief introduction, uh, I welcome Ramula Didi to place a sharing in the morning session. Didi, over to you. Thank you. Uh, namaste, Bhaiya. Thank you. Uh, namaste, Sharmila Didi. Namaste to all my dear explorers. Uh, brief introduction of myself. My name is Vivi Nirmala Devi working as professor in the Department of Mathematics, Kalpatru Institute of Technology, Tip Tour in Karnataka State. My husband working as professor and head Department of Commerce, Arts and Commerce College in of our Vidya Samsthi. I have one daughter. She is also working and she is working as software engineer in Bangalore. We are staying in our working place which is 50 kilometers away from our native. My mother-in-law is staying in our native. She is the driving force of our family. I have two elder sisters. I lost my parents in the year 2019 and 2020. With this brief introduction, now my UHV journey started in the year 2022 as per the circular of VTU and suggestion from our principal. I joined UHV introductory online workshop from 10 to 14th of October 2022. After the introductory workshop, I joined the morning session. Also, I did UHV 2 FDP from 13 to 18th of February 2023. The sweet voice of resource persons attracts me a lot, especially Panchana Didi's voice the content, the methodology, and the way they put the proposals is very interesting. Fourth part of the registration to UHV workshop was to help orientation of first year students with their student induction program. But I find solution for my own problems after attending the introductory workshop. And the morning sessions, make me understand about the sun scars. I'm a kind of person having impatience, intoler intolerance to injustice, and also egoistic. From UHV content, I'm able to see my sun scars, whether they are bad or good. And also, I'm able to overcome from most of the sun scars based on by paying attention to my self. Due to above changes, I can see the changes in my relationship with my family members and also in at my working place. As I said, my husband is a professor, associate professor and head of the commerce department. In his department, he is having 15 faculties. Among them is only the uh, that is the permanent faculty of that institution. And most of the responsibilities can, he has to handle over there. And he is spending a lot of time in the college itself. And due to his work pressure and tension, he is a little bit impatient and also he is also egoistic like me. And there will be more clashes between us for all the matters. Even though I'm doing all the household works and I'm going for 
job i'm doing all the works still is expecting more work from me and uh, is saying i'm a little bit less competent in doing the computer works you do those works for the completion of my works is asking the help for me but i was doing the uh, i was helping him but with the feeling of opposition and there will be a lot of reactions inside me why is asking is having 15 uh, colleagues why don't he ask his colleagues in that way i was reacting within myself and i was doing work after doing works also we had the clashes now i'm able to understand whatever i do but i need to do all the works with good feeling now now also i'm helping him but with the help of relationship and with coolness with harmony in myself and it impacts a lot on his behavior also and nowadays almost nil the clashes between us is almost nil and sometimes he has shouting or else he has reacting because of his disturbance in his self i'm able to observe it by that time i'm um, I'm having the feeling of relationship and as usual, I'm talking to him and I'm helping him a lot and there will be a harmony in our family also. And my daughter, uh, whenever I give some suggestions to her, you're always acting, acting like a teacher. You behave like mommy, behave like mother, she's suggesting me. Don't teach don't preach i don't want to listen she's she, usually she's saying like that nowadays i stopped to preach her actually i stopped to preach her whenever she asks for any help then only i'll give the suggestions and i'm asking her if you find interest if you find it is okay useful then only adopt it otherwise leave it also i'm including that word and two months back, one day she called me in the morning. Mama, today I find a lot of uh, okay, uh, problems in my work. I'm uh, asking the manager to uh, relieve from my project work. Uh, I'll talk to him today, she said. I observed her tension, uh, okay, her, her, her pressure and the feeling of opposition to his team members, everything absurd in her voice. And coolly with the feeling of relationship, I suggested, okay, Buddha, you talk to him, you talk to your manager, no problem with that. But you talk only with the feeling of relationship. Whatever you want to ask, you ask, but with the feeling of relationship, I suggested her. And the, on the same day evening, she called me, Mama, I talked to manager. He's very cool, she said. I'm observing. She's cool because of that. He was cool. This is the way we are interacting in our family. And there is there are no clashes, almost nil the clashes between the um, family members. Now, coming to two shifts. Okay, I'm shifted from reaction to respond mode. Now I feel I'm related to all. Now coming to the self, oh, sorry, what it is, a sh uh, shift in our understanding about feeling following, okay, uh, through the sessions. My shift in understanding as a human being. Before UHV, human being means only the body. I was seeing that body in its form and properties like size, shape, height, color, etc. After UHV, I understood human being is the coexistence of body and self. Self is the center of existence and body is the instrument. There is an exchange of information between the self and the body. I'm able to see my body with open eyes as well as closed eyes. By closing the eyes also, I'm able to see my body, but I'm not able to see myself through my grass eyes. Conduct of the body is definite. For example, I had a 
fracture in my leg. By that time, there was no physical activities and the intake of food is as usual. So my body puts up weight during that period. After the recovery, I start the physical activities slowly. Physical activities slowly my body reducing weight. So the conduct of the body is definite. The activity of the self is continuous. For example, whenever I set alarm to wake up early in the morning, usually I'm waking up before alarming. It shows my body is sleeping, but myself is okay wake up means it is it is working it is continuous in its working if i pay attention only then only i'm able to see the continuous thoughts in myself that is the human being that is the what i understood coming to, to nature takes a human order i'm able to see all the other three orders are harmonious and their conduct is also definite by the intervention of the human order, there is an hamper in the innateness of the other units in nature. For example, in my childhood, we get water from open well for all purposes. When I was in fifth standard, usually I'm also involving in that activity, bringing water from the well. Within a short span of time, when I was in Okay, uh, after two, three, four years, all the open wells dried and people start to dig okay, bore wells. And by digging 80 to 200 feet, they are able to get water. And nowadays, in my place, by digging the ground, more than 1,000, 1,500, 200 feet also, we are not able to get sufficient water. This observation made me aware of saving water. And I also understood that this was happened due to over usage of water and other various reasons. That is the deforestation, so, so many reasons. Now I adopt various methods to save water in my living system. I use very less water to wash dishes, and also I'm not wasting the water. I'm reusing the waste water for other purposes like that I'm adopting. And also I have my own garden in my, at my home. I'm regularly working and spending time in gardening work. Also observe that I'm very happy while doing such works. My garden work inspires others in our area and they also have their own gardens. At least they put some pots every, in every house and they, they are growing some plants there. During weekends, we are going to do our native. There also I'm doing labor works. We have adopted organic farming also. I actively involved in environmental friendly activities in the college like plantation, distribution of plants, plastic-free campaigns, etc. I encourage my students for green activities. I'm taking the class for three sections and for all the three sections, I requested the students to contribute something to the environment will come to the college at least one day in a week, either by walk or by bicycle, every Saturday. Even I'm also coming to the college by walk, I requested in that way. And most of the students are able to come by bicycle or by walk or by sharing the vehicles, electrical vehicles. This way, they uh, responded. And after seeing this, uh, as an IQAC member of our college, I suggested this green initiation in our college and all the other members of all the other members of IQSA as well as our principal accepted this and still not to come to not yet come to action, but they are adopting surely. I am believing. In this existence, I am able to see interconnectedness of all the units 
I'm very much sure my conduct is not 100% definite, but improved a lot. Sometimes I feel living according to all the proposals of UHV is a challenging task. Since I know it, it this is due to lack of my competence. Still, I need to improve my competence level. This is about my human conduct. Now, coming to exercise one and two. Exercise one, observing the self by the self at all the moments. I'm able to observe my thoughts, imagination, and feeling. The thoughts are coming on the basis of my desire and expectation. Here, I just quote an example. Last week, I was in the department and busy with my work. One of my colleagues, in between the class hour, she came to the department to drink water. After drinking water, without the notice of the presence of me in the department, just she locked the room and went, even also not observed her locking the room. At 10 a.m., I had a class, and when I get ready to go to class, I observed that the room was locked. By that time, I think that because she is not able to observe my presence in the department, that's why she locked. I'm observing my thoughts. Uh, uh, I first thought come to my mind is unknowingly she locked it. Next is by that time I was not uh, unhappy and also I observed my feeling about her. I felt unknowingly she did it. So I had a feeling of relationship. By that time, next thought what to do. By that time, uh, because I was cool, I looked into the department timetable and I find the faculties who were free by that time. And one of the faculty has a class from nine to 10. And anyhow, she's returning to the department. I called her, but she did not pick the phone because she didn't brought the phone to the classroom. Again, I think we were free. I called to another person, another colleague, and she came and opened the door. While opening the door, she laughed. Okay. And I'm observing my feeling about her also. The situation is like this. That's why she's laughing. No problem in that one. I find it out. And I also joined with a laugh and I continued my work. That is because my right understanding with the feeling of natural acceptance, with the natural acceptance, I understand the situation. That's why I I find the harmony in myself. There is no disturbance in myself, harmony in myself, and I'm cool. Suppose if I doubt the intention of my colleague, then there will be definitely disharmony or as disturbance in myself. That's why I understood that whenever the, we go for natural acceptance, it leads to continuous happiness and also harmony in ourselves. Now, okay, I, didn't, uh, I did not doubt our intention. I had a trust on our intention. And also after in the afternoon, she came and she, she asked, ma'am, really, I'm sorry. I not noticed it was presence in the department. I felt myself very bad, she said. I said, it is okay. What is there in that? If you noticed, my presence in the department definitely were not going to lock the room. No one will do that one, I said. She has also accepted. And this is the way I understood how my thoughts and my imagination, my feelings about these situations. Now coming to, to exercise two, observing the self, the body, and the interaction between the self and the body by the self. Clearly, it is understood that human being is the coexistence of self and body. Body is the material unit and self is the conscious unit. There is an exchange of information between self and body. Self instruct the body. Body responds through sensation. Self reads these sensations as and when required. I do fasting on Mondays. The decision 
maker is myself. Every day, our lunch time is 1.50 to 2.50. Myself reads the sensation of hunger all the days except Monday. Monday also I'm having hunger, but I'm, uh, myself will not read that sensation of hunger on Mondays because of my decision. In the morning walk, my focus is mainly on plants and flowers. So many other things are also there, but myself reads the sensation through the body, which are significant to myself. Also, self not always give the instructions to the body and not always read the sensations of the body. It reads the sensation time to time only. A month back, observe that there is a pain in my left shoulder. I observed that in the that I observed that pain in the morning walk and I expressed it in front of my friends also. But I was not noticed the pain when I was taking the classes, means when I'm busy with other ones. I read the this harmony in the body only when I'm free and I pay the attention to it. Also, I notice that I'm not in the pain or in the sensation. It clears me that I am at a distance from the sensation. When I observe the pain in my left shoulder, I gave the meaning to it. On that day, I started to do exercises after a long gap. On the basis of this observation, I give the meaning to meaning to that pain is because of okay, long gap, I started the exercises. Because of that exercises, I felt a little bit pain in my shoulder. And that is not the indication of any other health issues. This meaning is on the basis of my understanding as well as my observation. So I feel comfortable. This is the way of observing the self by the body. The last step, I'm in coexistence in space. The body is also in coexistence in space. I have this information, but I'm not able to see it. I need to improve my competence, competence to see the space and to understand the space also. Now coming to my commitment. I'm doing volunteering activity in the registration team and also in Canada translation work. I'm attending weekly follow-up sessions and holistic health session. I wish to continue my volunteering work in other sections also. Now, this is from my side. Now, my deepest sense of gratitude to Sharmila Didi and all the resource persons and all my co explorers. Thank you all. I request uh, Sharmila Didi to give her comments and sharings regarding the blood is sharing. Didi, over to you. Ji. Namaste. Namaste, Nirmala Ji. Namaste. It was a beautiful sharing, wonderful to hear you. In this very short span, I think you said your first workshop was in 2022. Yes. So is that right? Yes, yes, Didi. Yeah. October, in the month of October. Yes. So in this very short span of time, I think uh, many changes you have been able to notice in yourself. Very clearly, you are trying to explore and um, look into your imagination. And all the very many examples that you quoted, um, I'm sure many people were able to connect with those. Um, very simple day-to-day -day examples where you have been able to connect whatever information you got and been able to, you have been able to churn that and make it into um, your own experience. So I think that makes a lot of difference. Um, you mentioned some things about maintaining harmony in the family. I was just curious to know that you said that, uh, you know, you say for instance that your spouse expected a lot from you in doing the housework as also helping him with the computer work and now you're able to do it with the 
feeling of relationship. I was wondering if you also asked the family members for help with the housework, with the feeling of relationship. And um, if you considered that, and if you did, and you asked them, how was their response? Uh, definitely, Didi, they are helping. They are helping me a lot, Didi. Very uh, because nice. he's incompetent in computer parts, so he's asking my help. Uh, I'll do this part of work, you do that work, he's telling. He's helping me, Didi, in all yeah. part of work. Suppose if I busy with some work, he'll cook also on that day. <laughs> nice. So that you can see the difference in the harmony in the family um, with that. Uh, very nice sharing. And uh, you mentioned the volunteering also, which is very creditable that in this short span, you were not only able to explore, but also uh, see the significance of volunteering and are doing that. All the very best uh, for your further exploration. Of course, this is a long journey and um, you will find as you go further exploring, there will be, um, you will be able to notice um, some some of the sanskars that you mentioned and perhaps be able to make your um, behavior consistent throughout with the help of uh, these learnings. So all the very best to you. Uh, 